of a live studio audience from the Great Hall in downtown Toronto, AMI presents the Kelly and Ramya Primetime Special. Here are your hosts of today's special show, Kelly McDonald and Ramya Amuthan. Good day to everybody joining us for the Prime Time Special, LH Express. Thank you, guys. Ramya and I are absolutely flattered to heck after that. I mean, our wonderful theme song played out for us, Rum bringing us in. So Talk smooth. about beautiful. So smooth. LH Express. <laughs> You'll hear from them a lot coming up tonight as we uh, settle on back, folks. Thank you for being with us, coming in to be a live audience with us. And those of you who are checking us out via television, glad to have you. I've got the purple shirt on, the black fedora. Rum? Oh, and I've got my blue jewel tone shirt on and a black pants. Nice to have you all with us here for Kelly and Rumia. We're very excited. We're sitting here on a white set up here, folks, and we've got a lot of fun ahead. Let's start it out here, folks. We have our producers, Grant Hardy and Beth Deer, and they're going to be testing everyone's knowledge about our show. I have a feeling they're gonna be laughing at our expense. I think so. I think so. Um, also, blind comedian Dan Barra Berger is gonna be joining us for a mini, but very special, very funny stand-up show. So he'll keep you laughing, but also, folks, friend of the program, Catherine Valinka joins us of Zerkova Vodka, of course. And we're going to hang out and mix a few drinks, folks, a little later on. And we heard LH Express bring us in lead singer Lucas Hanneman, blues band, but they do a lot more than blues. And they're going to be hitting us with their tunes throughout the show. So we're very excited about all the live music. Since we're speaking of them, it's time to bring them on with their song, Miss McGrim. <laughs> With this freaking nuts, heaven knows she's having sex. Heaven do away with him. A young man better listen in. Now don't mess around with Miss McGrath. Don't mess around me. Homework bound now. Don't mess around, cause it's on your ground. Don't mess around me. Homework bound now. Don't mess around, cause it's on your ground. Smoking hips and I'm 
jacket thrown onto the bed. The mistakes and problems to the road ahead. Heaven knows she's let him To have a new way with him. The young man better listen here. Don't mess around with this for girl. Kelly and Ramya primetime special after this. Welcome back to the Kelly and Ramya primetime special. primetime special of the show and we've invited two people to help us keep the show going with a lot of fun a lot of laughter and we kind of said hey guys do whatever you want but I might be regretting that a little bit <laughs> Beth Deer and Grant Hardy producers on air presenters they join us a lot on the show welcome <laughs> newest members of our team where do you want to take us hello Ooh, that's a lot of pressure. It well, is. Hey, I'm Grant. And I'm Beth Deer. You may know us formally from shows like AMI This Week, Postcards From, and some other AMI original documentaries. Mm -hmm. And as of last September 2022, for me, this September for Beth, we have become part of this amazing Kelly and Ramya show, and we really could not be happier about it. Absolutely, and going from working on shows that are pre-recorded to a live show like Kelly and Ramia has been really eye-opening, excuse the pun. <laughs> <laughs> when I first started, um, I was so curious about what goes on behind the scenes. There's a lot. I love this fast-paced atmosphere, hey, and working on the live show, uh, and was always amazed by just all the moving parts that are needed to bring it to air and all the people too. We're sure that you're a little bit curious as well. Uh, so here's a little clip to show you all what goes on behind the scenes. Hello, I'm Ramia of Kelly and Ramia. I'm outside right now. I'm actually outside the AMI building. And you know what that means? It means we're gonna go in for an exclusive tour and behind the scenes look at how the show is put together. 
AMI is a not-for-profit media company that entertains, informs, and empowers Canadians who are blind or partially sighted. Operating three broadcast services, AMI-TV and AMI-Audio in English, and Ami Tele in French, AMI's vision is to establish and support a voice for Canadians with disabilities, representing their interests, concerns, and values through accessible media, reflection, and portrayal. It's really fun to find out and to share with you how the show is put together, at least physically with the set. And shout out to the entire team that makes it all happen. So, without further ado, let's find out how we go from the now show to our own show. We see a fast-paced time lapse of the now set being taken apart and the KNR studio being set up. They're moving purple pillars, desks, curtains are being drawn, lights and cameras are being adjusted. Ramya walks into the K&R studio. There are purple and white pillars, a white oval desk, two green chairs, three cameras, and a large, large TV monitor. Now there's a lot of magic that goes into the sets becoming from now with Dave Brown to Kelly and Ramia. And I just host the show and I get out of here, but there's a bunch of people who make this happen. So I'm going to go host the show and you get a behind the scenes look at the personalities and the team that brings it all together. We see the team setting up for the show. Rum fixes her earpiece while sitting next to Susan. Cameras are almost ready to go. Makeup is being slathered all over the face. On to the control room, this is it. There's Dan, our switcher, Irene, our director. Megan, our visual producer. Eliza, on graphics. And Caitlin, our audio technician. Hope you enjoyed seeing our behind the scenes, although I do feel like we're forgetting something. Oh, someone. Of course, how could I forget the one and only... Kelly McDonald. Hello, it's Kelly over here. Why Ramya's getting the final touches together on the studio in Toronto and preparing promos for tomorrow. I say, and preparing promos for tomorrow, hint, hint, hint. I want to take a moment to say hello and give you a glimpse of my home studio in London, Ontario. Heck, you may have thought I was broadcasting from a big old studio. Think again, folks. Behind me, I'll tell you a secret is actually a monitor screen. We have a camera here at the studio that allows us to zoom in. Yay, look at that. And even zoom out. Whee! And that's controlled from our control room at AMI main campus. Lastly, here in the studio, the home studio, I got a table right in front of me, which has my typing keypad on it a mixer off to the side here so I can control stuff from the studio, the in and out, well, mainly the in. I got a mute button, just so in case anyone wants me to shut up, I can click that and do that. And trusty headsets, which rest here on the mixer board uh, at the best of times when I'm not doing the show. Well, I won't keep any longer, guys. I won't spoil any more secrets. Well, I could tell you about, uh, Never mind. we'll save that for another day. Thanks for watching and learning behind the scenes of my home studio. Let's get back to the show and catch you further down the page, as they say. Do they say that, Kelly? <laughs> <laughs> ham radio, ham radio. <laughs> it is so interesting to see what the team gets up to. Obviously, working virtually, I don't get to see this much either. Mm -hmm. I've been able to get a little bit more insight recently by doing some co-hosting a few times, but it really is fantastic, and our team does such an awesome job. They really, really do. With that being said, why don't we get into the main reason we're here? All right, audience. Are you ready to test your Kelly and Romeo knowledge? <laughs> no. Lava! <laughs> 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 so Grant and I have come up with a few questions for you all to answer and I'm curious to see how many of you know the answers and get them right. We'll start easy and we'll get a little bit harder as we go along. 
So we need you all to shout out. Don't be shy, shout as loud as you can, either Kelly or Ramya. Don't put your hands up, it'll be lost on us. Uh, depending on who you think is the correct answer. Okay, so I feel like this one is a really, really easy one. So please don't let me down, people. <laughs> who always says fedoras off? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, Beth, that was a little easy one. Uh, I know. Who often brings their dog into the office? <laughs> <laughs> Where's Kelly's dog? They know you well. <laughs> My perfect dog hasn't been found yet. Yeah. Right. Okay. All right. Next question. Who loves Apple products more, Kelly or Ramia? Yeah. Oh, wow, very good. Yeah, Romia is a real techie. I hear she is a big fan of the new artificial intelligence apps, too. Oh, no. Okay. <sighs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> I can relate to the next one very much. Who doesn't like chili? Oh, God. <laughs> you and me you. both, pal. You and me uh, both. Ah, <laughs> man, thank you. That side of the room, okay. <laughs> I feel like this one is a little bit harder. Who always says mind boggling? No, <coughs> nobody. <coughs> nobody says that anymore. <laughs> you guys are real fans of the show. It is Ramya. I remember when Ramya went through a little bit of a phase of always saying mind boggling, but now, for the life of me, I cannot get her to say the word. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Good reasons why. Who has worked at AMI the longest? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Don't remind me. That's a good, <laughs> that is a good question. Like, that's a hard <laughs> question. I do have one more question that is super, super random. Um, who has a fancy cheese, cheese knife that, and I quote, cuts their cheese into really adorable thin little pieces? <laughs> <laughs> what a quote. <laughs> that was a hard one. It could have been Kelly. Yeah. That's a hard one. That's a mm -hmm. hard one. I think that's one of the first things I ever learned about you, Ramia, when I joined the team, is that you're a huge fan of cheese. <laughs> hard <laughs> question, though. We're obviously talking about the slang for money. <laughs> All right, enough fun and games. Not so fast, Beth. Sometimes our favorite moments on the show are when we get to laugh at ourselves a little bit. You're right. I think the crew was forgetting about this, Grant. Um, we've collected some pretty funny moments. So we're going to take a little stroll down memory lane and uh, let's have a look at what we've put together. To recover. That's the stuff you want uh, to everybody to copy and use uh, for a blooper reel for yeah, like on the 27th no. when we're oh, doing no, no, the no. show. I'm Ramia Amadin. Friday on the Chatty Bookshelf, Ryan Huey discusses Band Booked Week. Booked? Over time. And we get into quirky <laughs> stories from around the globe with the globe. One more time. I'm Kelly McDonald. Thursday, tune in for part two for the deep. Uh, uh, oops. I'm Kelly McDonald. <laughs> Thursday, tune in for part two on the deep dive on air. I'm Kelly McDonald. Thursday, tune in. I'm Kelly McDonald. Tune in. <laughs> I'm Kelly McDonald. Tune in Thursday for part two on the deep dive of. I'm Kelly McDonald. <laughs> I'm gonna make up my own shit, okay? Who cares? <laughs> We're live 2 to 4 p.m. Eastern time on both networks. We're the network with the both channels. Ugh. <laughs> Do I even work here? In the program, check out the podcast. Whenever you get a chance, subscribe using your favorite podcast platform and enjoy Ramya and uh, what's the show called? <laughs> Kelly and Ramya. At your leisure, ladies and gentlemen. So, Mark, you, how does this fit your shoes? You can pry the snooze button from my cold, dead hands. I am a snoozer. I have no shame. It starts to really show. Why are you acting like Al Capone? Smarten up. I've never been good at separating real life from the content and entertainment that I binge with. You never watched Gilmore Girls, did you? Um, no. no. I, no, no. I don't no. even ask, really? Rob. Don't say, what do you think it's about? Don't even get into it. Oh, it's God. about, it's about the, 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 are they the cheerleaders from the Toronto Argonauts? I, mean, I, don't, I, don't, I, I, don't, I don't know. Yeah, we were swapping stories uh, over the break of embarrassing things we've done, you know, parents and 
guiding and all that. Kels, we both have experiences sitting on people on TTCs, not seats. <laughs> not, not so much me, thank God, because oh, there's good. not enough insurance Oof. if I say it's more when you're guiding and a bunch of you get on and you you know, you could sit here, you could sit here. Oh, Excuse like the blind me, leading the blind. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. yeah. Totally that. I've done yeah, that as yeah. well. Uh, Excuse me, I'm sitting here. Go away. <laughs> Actually bought a bed from a dead woman and, and when I was living in an apartment. <laughs> oh my God. And, and um yeah, and, and I can tell another story where I was coming out of my apartment and the woman was dead and she was in a stretcher and I banged into the stretcher and knocked it over and didn't know if she was dead. <laughs> Stretcher with the yeah, I didn't know that. I didn't know it was there. In it? I didn't know she. Ah, uh, yeah, she was in it. She was dead. But I didn't. I feel know like we need a moment to process this. Yeah. yeah. But why, why do I feel like like none of this phases you somehow? It You're just like, oh, it, it it does. He's so deadpan telling us the story. That's the life of Bill. <laughs> <laughs> Great guys. Thank you. Beth, Ryan, you guys are the best. With Thank you so much. <laughs> well, is that Romeo? I said you guys are the best. She Thank you so much. Grant. Take well, it. Well, you know what? With a live production, the show must go on no matter what. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no speaking how many of the show going on, on I think that's our time up. Grant and I are honored to be here, and we love being a part of the show and the Kelly and Ramia team. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Let's Glad to have the Marines back over to Kelly and Ramia. Bethany Deer and Fred Hardy joining us. Yes. Thanks, guys. We're going to take another break. And taking us out to break, of course, is back with our band, LH Express. This is their song, Not Today.
around. There's more to come on the Kelly and Ramya Primetime Special. You're tuned in to the Kelly and Ramya Primetime Special. Music. Some people like drinks of different kind. And we've got it as we return to the program here on our primetime special. Hopefully you came back with us after the break. So we've got a lot to get, get to. And we have a friend of the show, a guest who's with us today, who's going to walk us through a mixology lesson from Zerkova Vodka, Kathleen Berlinka. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me live and in person. I'm so excited to be here. Not nervous, right? No. Okay, good, good. That's good. That's good. Let's see what we can do to fix that. <laughs> Catherine, would you, uh, as Rummy and I always love talking to you about different things, you guys are doing so much always, and we've had many talks about the Ukraine, about the war, about different things going on in the history of Zerkova. Can you share with our audience just a, a little bit of a refresher before we get into making up some drinks? So, I'm Ukrainian Canadian, born here. My parents are from Ukraine, and years ago, I moved to Ukraine to work. And along the way, we found, we discovered the actual birthplace of vodka. So imagine classical methods, women master distillers, the most extraordinary center cut spirits, and we couldn't believe it. We've really made it our mission to connect Ukraine with the rest of the world through what is part of our culture, toasting, you know, acknowledgement and vodka. Yeah, yeah, we like <laughs> right? that. Toasting right? especially. Yeah. yeah, it's always, everybody's welcome around our table. Okay. And well, you're going to help us out today because it's that time of the year we do a little thinking, a little bit of beverages at different times, different things we want to celebrate, and there's always that time. Um, you're going to do what? A couple of mocktails for us in one? Yeah, what's with a in little front bit of us? Okay, so what we have in front of you is the ultimate classic martini station. Nice. So I have got martini shakers, a bar tools kit, and um, olives. <laughs> yeah. And then I have the next level soda station. And so we've got some fresh raspberries, pomegranate, lemon, limes, because we're gonna, if people are tired a little bit about just soda and lime, let's jazz it up. And then, Ramya, yep. right in front of you. I know you've been <laughs> smelling the, all of these. These um, we've got the Caesar Station. Okay. So we have we have yeah. 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 And, and you know what? Honestly, this is where we were the first ones to create Zirkova One for sipping. Zirkova Together is our, the world's first flavor enhancer. So it'll take anything you mix and make it better. And that's the Caesar. So. Okay, so we're going to start. Um, I'm going to try not to spray you. Oh, let me back <laughs> off just so a little. I, I actually, this is my little tool, it, you know, to make sure I don't put too much vermouth, I've got a little spritzer. Oh, and tell me, what do you think? Do we shake martinis or do we stir them? Who thinks it should be shaken? Who thinks it should be stirred? Uh, <laughs> you know what? It's like... The shakers are louder. Yeah, I exactly, so. exactly. So, you know what? Let's shake it. And um, I like the sound of that. Oh, yes. My husband, it stirred all the way. Oh. So we're, we're shaking that up. We're adding that to the martini glass. And then we are garnishing with a beautiful olive. Mm. And um, 
Here we go. So this is our first. This is the classic martini. Now, there's no way to make that um, a mocktail. So we're going to get to the mocktails <laughs> in a minute. You know? um, OK, so next, we're going to jazz up a vodka soda. I love doing this. Take some, I'm going to take fresh raspberries. So here's some fresh raspberries. And I'm just putting them into the bottom part of your martini shaker. And then I have this muddler. You can use a spoon or you can use the, it's, it's a tool that basically crushes ah. the raspberry. And can you yep. smell that? I mean, it's just yeah. beautiful, this good. incredible scent of raspberries. And then I'm adding my ice. Now, people don't know that if you add more ice than you think you should, because it actually does not dissolve as quickly and it keeps your drink cold for longer. longer yeah. Now I'm adding Zirkova, one, for our sipping, because sipping in sodas. And then I'm just stirring that up. And I'm just putting all of that beautiful muddled fruit, ice, Zirkova, oh. right into the glass. And now I'm adding my soda water. So this is, it, it's, it's like a fruit explosion. Mm. It's delicious. Give Smells that a little stir. Mm. And there we go. And you can do this with lemons. You can do this with clementines, pomegranates, any fruit that you love. Let's take it to the next level. Okay. Now, for mocktails, again, easy. You just don't add the vodka. And again, <laughs> you know, right? Yep. So, yeah. And we're very big on everybody needs to get taken care of because whether you're drinking that night, whether you're the designated driver, let's make sure that you've got something good. Ramya, <laughs> did you know that Canada invented the Caesar? This is our national drink. So do, do people know that in Western Canada and Calgary, right? Let me know if you love a good Caesar. Hands together! Caesars consumed in Canada every year. Wow. National Caesar Day. Yes, My God. exactly, exactly. So there's so, I've got a beautiful dressed up Caesar with, you know, that we've already made, but let's start, let's make one from the beginning. Now, first things, this is my little secret. I always rim the glass first, and then I build the Caesar in a different glass. Oh. So that way, you know. That sounds You know, th then, you, then you have the rim yeah. intact, yes. right? And then half your Caesar is not pouring out of the glass. Exactly. Okay. Now fill your glass with ice. Is there a particular type of glass that you would use for a Caesar? Yes, I'm using a, like a pint glass. Mm. This is what I like to use. And now what we're doing is we add Zircova together. Because you have so much, many flavors, you want the flavor, you want it to enhance and interact. Mm. Now I'm building this, I'm adding the Worcester sauce, a couple of drops of that, mm. and we're adding our hot sauce of choice. You can oh, add any one sure. that you love. What's yes. your hot sauce of choice? Yep. <laughs> I'm using Tabasco, I'm more of a traditionalist. I was gonna say rum you too, it's a little weaker. Sriracha, what? <laughs> Now we add our Caesar mix. And here's the exciting part. You can go vegan now. You can, uh, the original Caesar mix, of course, has clam juice in it. Oh, yes. And so we're actually going, we're going classic. So it's a clamato? Yes. Okay. And then I'm adding my salt and pepper. And now comes the fun part. Who here has secret ingredients when it comes to Caesars? Anybody? If you do, yell it out. What's your... Pickles, Whoa. you know, I've heard, of course, horseradish, uh, beets. Oh, my. Uh, crispy bacon, <laughs> oh, I love it. I okay, mean, I so thought Caesars were already a full meal. But yeah, I was just gonna say, serious. it's even healthy, <laughs> so even with the bacon. We're actually adding barbecue sauce. That's okay. what we're doing. Ooh, and then the you're basically stirring it up. Let's get my little spoon. You're stirring that up. And then you're taking the entire glass. Your Caesar's ready. I'm pouring it into that rimmed glass. With the so ice and all. Exactly. Mm. Ice and all. We've built it. 
Now comes the fun part. What garnish would you like? <laughs> We've Ooh. got celery. We have the asparagus spears. We have olives. I've got the extreme beans. Throw it all in. I what do you do think? Olive. Eat these vegetables olive, otherwise. Right? Let's do and, it. And of course, you know, you can go really crazy with this. Oh. Your grilled shrimp. You can have. Oh a, no! A no! Now, I mean, now we're cooking. Have, cooking now we're cooking thing, with shrimp. Have, food Caesar. Yeah. The, oh. The cabanosa, the the pepperettes. So we're we're going classic. Um, wow. And Catherine, absolutely beautiful. Thank yeah. you so thank much. Thank you, thank you. This We've the got best. the celery stick. We've got. We appreciate it, Catherine Valenka, folks. Mixology 101. All right. LH Express. And time, ladies and gentlemen, to bring you for a little bit of comedy as we welcome in Dan Barra Burger. Hi, everyone. Um, yeah, my name's Dan Barra Berger, actually, uh, but uh, I won't hold it against you. I, uh, I am you. blind. Uh, to give you some uh, descriptive video, I am wearing a black hoodie, black jeans, black shoes. I am going to have a spicy night walk home, I guess. This is going to be very interesting. Uh, chose poorly. Um, yeah, so like I say, I am legally blind. I walk with a white cane. And uh, blindness uh, is, first of all, are, how many blind people are in the audience tonight? All right. I, I like the audio feedback. How else will we find each other? This is great. Um, the, uh, it is. A, a, an interesting disability because it's one of the ones that, that people on the street feel like they can just immediately relate uh, to. I'll give you an example. I get a lot of people come up to me and they say like, oh, oh, you're blind? Oh man, I get it. Yeah, like, you know, when it's night and it's raining and it's foggy and I left my glasses at home, it's kind of hard to drive. It's like, oh yeah, yeah, that's the, that's the exact same thing, man, for sure. We're, we're, we are not the same. There are certain things, though, that are a little more uh, uh, difficult here and there. Um, like shaving, for example. Um, I, you know, I can't see myself in the mirror, so what I have to do is I, I just kind of cup my hand under my chin and I just kind of, I just, I just go with God. It's just, it's all, it's all hope, I just kind of, trace my hand, but the problem is I'm, I'm right-handed, so it's always a little lopsided. Um, luckily, though, my, my partner, one of her legs is shorter than the other, so it kind of balances out um, for the person who has to look at me the most, so that's, that's, that's all that, that matters as, as far as I'm concerned. But, um, you know, what, um, yeah, and, you know, getting, like, tidied up and dressed up, clearly, like I said, I'm in a jeans and hoodie, so I, I dress for the occasion very well. Um, uh, but no, things like uh, going to weddings, that was, that was like, I mean, COVID, I almost said like, uh, yeah, COVID's over, it's, it's not, it's still going on, but one of the best things about it was that we didn't have to go to weddings. Um, and, uh, and, and uh, I mean, you know, you have to fly halfway across the country and then give somebody a really expensive gift that you wouldn't even buy for yourself. And, and then um, you get there, and uh, they, they say, oh, hey, yeah, thanks for coming. Thanks for spending all this money. Um, and then there's a buffet. So yeah, you, there, there's your food, you animals. Go get it yourself. Um, so that's, that's always, always fun. And because you know, I'm, I'm an independent little boy, I'll get up there, and I'll go myself. Uh, I, and, I'll go, my table will get called, I'll walk up, and I'll get my cane, uh, I've got my cane with me, and then I pick up my plate, and then like, well, I don't have a third hand, so how am I, so, and then I end up having to put my cane between my knees, and I'm doing some kind of like vaudeville soft shoe kind of thing, trying to grab what, whatever I can, and, um, and I'm grabbing like what I, what I hope is food. Um, yeah, so I, I grab, things, and, and then I, I go back to, uh, to what I hope was my table, and I have to then explain to sighted people 
what I've collected on my plate. And, and, and I have to pretend like I took what I wanted. And, and so, yes, Aunt Meredith, that's right. I have half a multigrain bun and a handful of ziti and a decorative swan. Yeah. <laughs> That's, I'm, I'm keeping him, his mind's now, his name is Kevin, and he's perfect, thank you. Um, but uh, I, um, yeah, you know, I, uh, weddings aren't, aren't all so bad. Uh, I, uh, I got married last year. Um, no, thank you, thank you. Uh, it was, it's my, my, my second marriage, different, different people, um, but, uh, <laughs> Yeah, this, this one is uh, going a lot better. Um, but man, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you guys, the, like dating was, was hard. I bet you've never heard a comedian say that. Dating's really hard, let me tell you all the ways why. Um, but yeah, dating, you know, was, was the, it's hard for everyone. But with, with low vision, you know, we get our own set of issues. Um, like, you know, you have a, a couple lovely uh, vodka tonics and uh, you have to maybe at some point, and there's there's nothing really, uh, there's there's no way around it. If you're in a like a new bar or something, and the person across from you you've just met, it's like, hey, uh, do you want to go to the washroom? <laughs> uh, not not for anything lascivious. It's, I just don't know where it is. Um, can you? But. A lot of times, uh, I'll go. It, it, well, especially here in Toronto, the, uh, the the washrooms are often downstairs, subterranean, damp, and dark. <laughs> and and nine times out of ten, the women's washroom is first, and the men's washroom is second. One time out of ten, <laughs> I get that wrong. And I know I'm in the women's washroom because of the. Uh, the, the, the screaming, <laughs> mostly the screaming, and, and like they start to scream, and I start to scream, and we, we both start to pee, it's a whole thing. So, um, yeah, I, I don't know, I, I hope uh, gender neutral washrooms, they're great, and I, I hope that helps uh, my blind brothers and sisters out there uh, have better dating experience than I did, so. So give it up for, for Kelly and Ramya, everyone, thank you so much. That is my time. Dan Barabergia, that's the screen reader, Dan, you can relate. I know it, man. Um, Dan, tell us where people can find you. Oh, well, you can find me in, uh, in, in bars with accessible washrooms all over Toronto. Uh, and, uh, and online at danbarabergia.com. And uh, yeah, uh, next, next uh, spring on AMI-tv, I'm a writer for a new show called The... Uh, the Squeaky Wheel Canada. All right. Yes. Give Dan a hand. And Thank you. And we're going to take a quick break and come back and talk to the band and, of course, scam another full song out of them. After this. There's more of the Kelly and Ramya primetime special after this. Welcome back to the Kelly and Ramya primetime special. Yeah. 
if you wouldn't mind, walk us through who's all in the band. Yeah, absolutely. To my left, it's the amazingly talented Martin Neiman on bass and vocals. <laughs> Behind me, holding down the fort, it's the amazingly talented Val Nicobara on the drums. And my partner here on co-lead vocals, the amazing, incredibly talented Megan Lawrence on vocals. And of course, Lucas Hanneman. Tell us a little bit about the band, where people can find you guys if they want to look up things. Yeah, well, you know, uh, I like to say that we're blues with a twist, you know? We're not your grandparents' blues, but we're definitely blues with soul, blues with attitude. And uh, everyone can find the band online at www.lhexpress.ca. Absolutely. Well, you know, you guys have spoiled the hell out of us. We appreciate you doing this for us, being our band for the show for the Prime Time special. We, we can't thank you enough. Uh, Ramya, we've got other people we should be saying a little thank you about. Absolutely. The music's covered. But how about our team, everyone who helped us put this entire Prime Time special together? Thank you. And, of course, the facility. We're at the Great Hall taping this primetime special, so shout out to this downtown place. What a beautiful venue, absolutely. And ladies and gentlemen, mostly, of course, those of you who are watching and those that are here in our audience, thank you guys for giving us your time. McDonald and Ramya Amuthan. Reporters, Grant Hardy and Beth Deer. Senior producer, Jeff Ryman. Director, Nick Appleton. Manager, live production, Paula Denise. Manager, operations, Kyle Harper. Director, programming, Lisanne Gagne. Director, content development and production, Kara Nye. Vice President, Content Development and Operations, John Melville. President and CEO, David Arrington. Copyright 2023, Accessible Media Inc. An AMI original production.